Hi guys, this is Matt Rogers, Stone Solution Consultant at MeasureSquare. Before coming to MeasureSquare, I worked with large stone and tile subcontractors wearing various hats from estimator to project manager for about 10 years. We've been working with trade associations like NTCA and NSI as software partners and have deployed it to their members including Daltile, ChemDetile, Spectrum Quartz, and many others. When it comes to bidding on multi-unit stone and tile projects with hundreds of bathroom units, this software enables your estimators and PMs to take off quote, create 3D renderings, wall and tile shop drawings, and lay out your cut to size material all within the same software. MeasureSquare Stone and Tile Takeoff software is the game changer. It is four times faster than the general construction takeoff softwares, and it eliminates the pain of having to use different softwares throughout the estimating process. Today we're going to focus on the multi-unit bathroom tile project with MeasureSquare Stone and Tile Takeoff software. We will walk through the takeoff process for a 300 plus unit multifamily bathroom tile project. We will easily create room takeoffs and wall tile shop drawings with detailed elevations and create a professional bid package with flexible breakdowns. On average, it may take an estimator or PM three to four days to complete the takeoff with the general takeoff software. And depending on your estimating workflow, another day for the PM or sales rep to prepare a quote with various breakdowns and cutting layouts. In comparison, based on current measure square stone and tile users, this project takes about a day instead of four days with the general takeoff software. So let's jump into the software now to highlight some of the best ways MeasureSquare can streamline your tile estimating process. To begin today, we can see that we have three bathrooms to take off. For these bathrooms, we're going to start with the room takeoff module. Using the draw room feature, we can trace the perimeter to create our first room and automatically generate our elevations. Now we can detail this room as much as needed. Let's start by adding a door. Here we can select the door type, adjust the dimensions, and even include a threshold. Next, let's use our elevation tool to remove the tub area from our plans and elevations. We can also use this tool to create a vanity space as well. After we adjust the heights of our elevations, we can see our bathroom layout taking shape. To finish our layouts here, we will add a horizontal and vertical wall stacks to create our tile borders. Once we are finished with this bathroom, we can reuse these elevations later for the rest of our takeoff. Now that we have our bathrooms laid out, we can quickly finish this room takeoff by applying our products and services as needed and then we can simply adjust our pattern layouts and save these elevations as wall profiles to reuse these later on in our project. So now that we've finished this first bathroom, we can move on to the second bathroom, and we can actually reuse our first bathroom to copy the room elevations at all the product applications. In this case, we will simply need to adjust the threshold to match the design intent. And with that, we have just one bathroom left. Because this last room has a slightly different layout, we will use our draw room tool again to outline our border and create our elevations. Using our profile templates, we will quickly apply wall layouts to our last bathroom and simply adjust our wall stack positioning to account for the dimensional differences. So you can copy and paste the wall profile to dozens of rooms in one shot, saving a lot of time. Lastly, for our bathroom takeoff, we will select our bathroom to apply tags and adjust the duplication of each room. The tagging feature allows us to organize, sort, and create detailed breakdowns by floor, unit type, building, trade, etc. Once we have finished our bathrooms, we can even view and present our rooms in 3D. MeasureSquare users love the ability to display realistic room layouts for clients, installers, and internal review. Let's move on now to our bathroom vanities. To create these vanities, we'll switch to the area takeoff module. We can see that we only have one vanity left to complete, so let's zoom in to B1 and create our vanity with the draw area tool. Now we can add details to this vanity by adding our splash and laminate pieces. We can also apply edge details as well as any sink cutouts that may be needed. After our takeoff is complete, we can move on to our worksheets to see all of the estimating data here. In this case, we have grouped our takeoff to create a breakdown of each bathroom with material and labor needed for each. These worksheets are completely customizable to suit your needs. Display only the information you need and organize your data to create breakdowns by floor, unit, material type, etc. So let's create a new worksheet with our bid proposal template. We can create and use templates to save your worksheet formats to create your professional proposal in minutes. This bid template will be intended for clients with sales pricing and tax included. Now that our bid proposal is ready, let's go ahead and move on to our slab optimizer to automatically generate efficient slab cutting layouts from our takeoff pieces. MeasureSquare slab optimizer plays a key part in making the stone solution the only one-stop solution to help your team seamlessly transition from estimate to fabrication. The Slab Optimizer allows you to prepare these layouts in seconds rather than hours when done by hand or in CAD, helping you save hours per project. So let's select ST31 and start cut to generate our slab layouts based on piece sizes and quantities. Once our layouts are created, we can see that we have 19 unique layouts for this material, with a total of 48 slabs needed for the project. 
From here, we can either export these layouts to PDF for review, or send them to DXF to be opened in CAD, or sent straight to your CNC machines to begin fabrication. Now that we've created our worksheet and finished our slab optimizer, let's move on to creating our bid package, which will save us tons of time in Excel. You have full control over your bids. Select the takeoff and worksheet tabs you want to include, add your company logo, and any photos or screenshots you may need. Here we can see our estimate breakdown along with the summary and totals at the bottom. As we continue, we will be able to review our takeoff, rooms, and elevations, and any screenshots or photos we added to the project. And just like that, we are done with our bid. Mission Square Stone and Tile takeoff software is easy to learn as it is trade specific and developed by the trade professionals, and even easier if you have existing experience on a general takeoff software. In addition, Mission Square offers free onboardings and live support to all users. It takes about three to five hours for new users to get up to speed with your first project. Mission Square also currently has a wingman program to help those new users get that first bid out the door. Measure Square Stone and Tile has been adopted by some of the leading stone contractors and distributors, such as Dow Tile, Chemda Tile, Spectrum Course, Angela Ryan Interior, U.S. Marble and Granite, and Tangram Interior. Measure Square has been an official partner of NTCA, NSI, WFCA, Starnet, and Fuse Groups. With Measure Square One Stop Stone and Tile Takeoff Software, your estimators will beat their bid deadlines, be more productive with faster and more accurate bids, and your PMs can respond to customer pricing requests and changes faster than ever. So reach out today to learn more about signing up for your free trial or email Kathy at MeasureSquare.com to schedule a demo. Or visit our website at MeasureSquare.com and look for the Stone product page under our product menu.